This week, the Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan was having a live broadcast interview, a routine chat as the country is approaching its crucial pause. But something happened in the middle of the broadcast. It was cut mid-air. The reason? Erdogan's ill health. Now in the next report, we tell you what exactly happened. I had a serious stomach flu. For a while, I wondered if it would be misunderstood if we cancelled the program. I said we promised, now we will go. We come across such situations from time to time in our busy working hours. I ask you and our audience to forgive me. This was the Turkish president Recep Tayyip Erdogan as he fell ill during a live televised interview. The cameras didn't show Erdogan in the moments before the TV broadcast was interrupted. After the infamous interview, Erdogan called off two major engagements on Wednesday. These were campaign rallies, as the D-Day inches closer. His cabinet, on the other hand, says there is nothing to worry about. His health condition is well. The infectious gastroenteritis he has experienced has lessened its effect. He will continue the scheduled programs as soon as possible. The comments are a first, since an air of uncertainty builds in Ankara surrounding Erdogan's health. Even on Thursday, the 69-year-old president attended the big Akuyu nuclear power plant visit virtually. The plant is being built by Russia in Mersin. Russian President Vladimir Putin also attended the inauguration virtually. The video appearance represented Erdogan's effort to project health and vigor at one of the more vulnerable moments of his two-decade rule. But he looks visibly frail as he addressed Putin and the nation from behind his presidential desk. Erdogan is expected to use the country's first ever nuclear power plant to bolster support among the Turks. Erdogan, who has been in power for more than 20 years, aims to extend his power well into the third decade. For the last few weeks, he has been doing rounds, drumming support for the May 14th poll. Voting, meanwhile, has already begun before the 3.3 million Turkish citizens living overseas. The expats have until the 9th of May to cast their vote. Well, we expect things to get better in Turkey. Let's hope for the best that the right one comes to the top there. The recent health scare has undoubtedly upturned Erdogan's travel schedule. It has complicated his path to a third decade of rule. And Erdogan, a leader known for his love of campaigning and embrace of political fights, will not let go that easily.